209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle. Yes. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jiu-jitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted as he's shown on a number of occasions. A fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not going to out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not going to out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. So here's a fighter that a lot of people have been talking about here during fight week, really just because of the nature of his skill set. I haven't seen much in terms of a glaring weakness on film. Your thoughts? It, it doesn't seem like there is. You know, when you're watching the film and you're critiquing him, there's not much to critique. When you're trying to break down where the weaknesses are, there aren't many. The guy can wrestle, he can grapple, he's got tremendous cardio, great top control, insane durability. He's got it all. He's one of the best mixed martial artists we have seen come on the scene for a long time. But he's got to continue to prove it if he wants to stay where he is right now in the UFC. And perhaps his greatest asset, at least thus far, has been his instinctual nature in the octagon, right? Just knowing which skill to employ at the right time. And certainly he's got essentially every skill you would want in an MMA also. Tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, and ultimate fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, Matt the Immortal! Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. Our round one is underway, and I got to think when you're fighting a guy like Matt Brown, you have to be mindful of not getting overly aggressive too early. This is a guy who has proven very difficult to put away, and you got to save something in the register for that latter round. You know Brown's going to keep on coming. And there's that jab. Oh, great block there. Not right early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target. He's very accurate with that straight left hand, so he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you that hurts so many for Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing David Diaz. All 
watch it. The swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Figures to start to trickle down could compromise his vision here moving forward. Just over two minutes, round one. Clean punch. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Collar tie here in the clinch. Unable to connect it. Good shot. Ooh, Good big shot, shot Land. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost. able to make a nice transition there back into side control. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. Hey, stop. Round two straight ahead. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Brown's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round underway. All right, so as this next round, he's right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. It's a good right hand right there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Diaz's nose is bleeding now, so... <laughs> Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Matt the Immortal Brown. All right, so the Immortal Matt Brown does it again, and I've got to think at this point, You've got to look far and wide to find his remaining doubters. That man is an absolute beast, and he comes up with another legacy-building win here tonight. Good for the Ohio native, Matt Brown.